Hello my friends and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. In our last video we began Garrus's personal quest and have been going a little renegade-y which I feel like works and it's completely accurate. <laughs> but anyway, in our last video, we left off at the point where we need to go out and confront Harkin. And for some reason, I thought this would be a big boss fight, but like, he's not the guy we're looking for. So anyway, um, let me get my gun out. So I'm less... I, do I have the right gun on? I, I assume I do. It's not letting me switch. And I thought I could open the shutters last time, but... Anyway, let's just go. Shepard, I have patched into the warehouse scanners. The crates in the transport carriers overhead are rigged to explode when dropped. Good to know. Of course they are. Enemies ahead! Oh. Oh, okay, hang on. That Those are not things that are rigged to explode. Okay, how about I go over here? Maybe. Requesting Why don't you just turn around? <sighs> Why don't you just give yourself up? Killed one. Okay, this is gonna be interesting because I'm firing a high impact shot. Oh dear. Have engaged. Requesting assist. Rerouting power. Rerouting power. Target systems engaged. Rerouting power. Target systems engaged. All right, let's get out my sniper rifle. Oh! Decussive shot ready. Hey, I didn't actually miss this time. Oh no, Samara died. And Garrus is shooting at crates. Because of shot ready. Oh, crap. <laughs> I love when the robots are like, excuse me. Careful. Please hold still. Good now, Samara? Okay. Glad you're all right. I don't know why you can get up, but I can't save, but that's fine, I suppose. I'm not running from you, Shepard. Okay. That's, um, makes it easier because I'm actually trying to Hawkins talk to you. Hawkins going to regret this. Yeah, you tell him, Garrus. Data pad. Um, blue, there's that. And then that one, and then that one. Money? Upgrades? Money. Nope, definitely can't save. Just just making sure my quick save button didn't just it miraculously or suddenly, not miraculously, that's the wrong word. Very much the wrong word. Didn't just suddenly stop working. That, that's the correct statement. Which is kind of annoying because I feel like I should get to save. Oh look, there's Harkin. Oh crap. Two heavy mechs, incoming. Do you really think you could take me down, Shepard? Well, you know, there was a thought. Okay, let's to that one. Samara, where are you? I'll take cover. Thanks. I feel like this shouldn't be a complicated concept to take cover. Oh no, it's okay. I got it. I don't got it. I oh what oh no oh, I really don't got it. <laughs> okay. 
Well, the one good thing about having that happen is that my quick save now works again. Well, save in general works again. Oh, crap. Two heavy mechs incoming. Do you really think you can take me down, Shepard? Will do. Hang on. You got it. Oh, crap. Oh. I'm trying to get someplace safe. Ah, here we go. Oh, and change my weapon ammo. I'm going to get out my black gun. Oh no, I need to really... Wait a minute, <laughs> until I get shields back. This guy's uh, really hit hard. Mara's down. Alright, one's down. Oh, sorry, Samara. Come on, shoot faster! <laughs> that was close. Let's see if I can go find some extra ammo. <laughs> just like the one time I like need to just shoot like one shot, <laughs> my gun's like, nope, we're out of ammo. Um, is there more ammo back here? Maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, let me come up here. Is there anything? No, there's nothing exciting up here. This would have been a good spot to attack the mechs as well. Hmm, noted. Well, I'm, I'm wandering in circles, I'm aware. Where? Huh, okay, I, I can't get back to where I was. That's odd, but I suppose. All right, let's just, let's just move forward. I can't save again. I really don't want to do that fight again. You'll never make it. Um. There. Thank you for like giving me stairs to, to use to come up. I, I really appreciate that. Okay, saving. Not close enough. Oh. So fade. Couldn't make yourself disappear, huh? Come on, Garrus. We can work this out. What do you need? I'm looking for someone. Well, I guess we both have something the other one wants. So he is the guy from the, the 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 club that I went to in Mass Effect 1. And wasn't I looking for Garrus? I feel like you guys have probably reminded me of this, but I haven't, the video hasn't gone up yet. So, <laughs> um, ouch, wrong answer. It was the wrong answer. Let, let's try that one. We're not here to ask favors, Harkin. You don't say. You helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. I might need him. A little more information than that. His name was Sidonis. Turian came from the... I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Uh... <laughs> no, you, you actually need to tell us. I don't think we're going to be reasonable with this guy. He's not a reasonable type of person. Is this information really worth all the trouble? I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. <clears throat> I'm not gonna have... You know what else is bad for business? A broken neck. Uh, all right, all right. 
Get off me! Terminus really changed you, huh, Gareth? No, but Sidonis opened my eyes. Now arrange a meeting. Yeah, it's me. There's a chance your identity may be compromised. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. So, if our business is done, I'll be going. I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a little. <coughs> Maybe give Cece the blood trail to follow. Bastard! That wasn't necessary? Uh, it, it, uh, I mean, you could make an argument. It wasn't necessary, but like... I feel like it's okay, at least on this mission. <laughs> uh, quick complaining. Yeah, he, uh, I would have stopped him, I think, I think, if he had wanted to kill him. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. I feel, again, I feel very renegade in this quest, and I feel like it totally works. But anyway, quick complaining. You're lucky. I wouldn't have shot you in the leg. <laughs> oh my god, Shepard. What'd I ever do to you? Sidonis better be there, or I'm coming back to finish the job. I mean, maybe if you weren't so sleazy the first time we met, but choices have consequences. <laughs> Harkin's a bloody menace. We shouldn't have just let him go. He deserved to be punished. Uh, yeah, are you okay? We didn't, we shot him in the leg. Well, you shot him in the leg, so he was punished. And like you said, C-Sec will probably come after him. Although, does C-Sec sound a little corrupt right now? Maybe, so. Shocking, I know. But anyway, are you okay? Getting a little worried about you, Garrus. You were pretty hard on Harkin. You don't think he deserved it? This is not like you. Oh, that's not where... What do you want from me, Shepard? What would you do if someone betrayed you? I... would shoot them in the face, probably. I'm not sure. But I wouldn't let it change me. I would have said the same thing before it happened to me. It's not too late. You don't have to go through with this. Who's going to bring Sidonis to justice if I don't? Nobody else knows what he's done. Nobody else cares. I don't see any other options. No, no, it's we're going to get him. I didn't realize that where this was. This was where that was going. Those are the, that's the right order of the words. I won't mention it again. I appreciate that. <laughs> I need to set up. I can get a clear shot from over there. How's this gonna work? What do you need me to do? Keep him talking and don't get in my way. I'll let you know when he's in my sights. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. He'll be here soon. Nothing, Smara? I feel like she's silently judging us and keeping a tally of all the things that uh, she needs to kill us for. <laughs> Shepard, can you hear me? Loud and clear. All right, there he is. Wave him over and keep him talking. Why don't you just shoot him there? Out of range? Let's get this over with. You're in my shot. Move to the side. Mm, move to the side. This won't take long at all. You want a Harkins man? I don't remember seeing you before. That's it. Just keep him talking a few more seconds. I was told Harkin was one of the best. This better not happen again. 
Let Garrus take the shot. We're gonna let him take the shot. He's a bad person. <gasps> oh gosh, I feel really conflicted about this now. Oh, it won't. Don't worry. What? Shit. Betrayal repaid Sidonis. That was easy enough. Yes, it was. Are we done with this? Obviously, we're done with it. The man is dead. Oh, gosh, I feel very conflicted about it. But, like, he was a really bad person. Clean and simple. Good work. Thanks for helping me, Shepard. Let's get moving. I need to get away from this place. Right with you. Okay, Garrus's traitor has been found and dealt with, leaving Garrus clear-headed for mission. Operatives in CSEC will ensure no criminal charges are filed against him or Shepard. <laughs> May be able to co-opt Harkin's criminal network, sending agents to investigate. Oh, that's good. Can the Shadow Burger take over? Because I trust Liara way more than I trust you. Elusive man. I keep wanting to call him Invisible Man, but that's not his name. <laughs> Experience gain, 750. Garrus's power unlocked increases damage to armor and health. Well, that's good. Ooh, he gets a new outfit? Sniper rifle damage and 27,000 credits plus iridium. Back on the Normandy? We're not. Well, I want to go back to the Normandy. There's a terminal. Here we go. Because I should, I would think, get a lovely follow-up with Garrus, where he should get, he should have to talk to me again at this point, right? Right? All right, I can skip that cutscene. I feel like I've seen it at least four or five times now. Message? No messages? It's it's fine. Uh, Garrus is here. this way. Alright, let's save. Shepard, need me for something? Mm, okay, I just want to talk. Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedona's. Whatever happens with the Collectors, or the Reapers, or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. Whoever else? Maybe? You actually think we'll find something worse than Collectors or Reapers? <laughs> I like to expect the worst. There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm glad you're here. I am glad he's here. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. <laughs> it's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. Hmm. Estimation of chances? Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around, and I'm with you regardless. Thanks. What about Ilos? Uh, let's ask... Uh, let's keep investigating. Garrus and CSEC. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. <laughs> when a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite, not when the galaxy is at stake. That's a very fair argument. So we're all going to die. He doesn't like to follow bad orders. <laughs> and Turian preparations? How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full contact sparring. 
Whatever lets people work off stress. Full contact sparring. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. Oh, oh did she now? H how did that go? I assume you took her down gently. <laughs> Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarter, so I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. <laughs> More than one way to work off stress, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, we could ease our stress together. So one of you did let it slip in the comments, because I did not know this, that I could romance Garrus. And that was kind of my hope, because I feel like of everybody I've met so far, I haven't had a lot of time with, and, and you said I could only romance men. I, I don't have any female options, which is a little disappointing, but it's fine. I didn't do it in the first game with Liara because I felt like Liara is my best, my best friend girl, not my, you know, romance girl. I just didn't get that vibe and, and I couldn't romance. Yeah. I, anyway, I'm rambling. So I do kind of want to maybe romance Garrus if I can, maybe. Uh, but I want to ask this question. What about Ilos? I thought you'd be used to high risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about trekking Saren to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. <laughs> it, it is a little negative, Nelly. But I feel like I didn't finish my thoughts. So I think that with Garrus and Shepard, like, they go from, like, strangers to friends to lovers to something else maybe I don't know what's gonna happen but I don't even know if it's possible but I'm gonna try what if you did say it's possible but I don't know if it's possible with the choices I've made that's that's my thought process but anyway we could eat stress together Garrus it sounds like you're carrying some tension <laughs> maybe I could help you get rid of it <laughs> I uh, didn't think you'd feel like sparring commander so uh, that's not what I meant what if we skipped right to the tiebreaker we could test your reach and my flexibility. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> hmm. Never knew you had a weakness for men with scars. <laughs> well, why the hell not? There's nobody in this galaxy I respect more than you. Oh. If we can figure out a way to make it work, then... Yeah, definitely. That's, that's, are we not, like, no one I respect more in the galaxy. That's not very, like, thank you, but that's not very romantic. But then again, this doesn't seem to be about romance right now. It's <laughs> just more, like, easing an itch or something like that. I feel like I got that expression wrong. Shepard, need me for something? Yeah? Have you got a minute? I've got some diagnostics to finish. But don't worry, I haven't forgotten uh, what we talked about. Okay, I mean, like, I guess if your diagnostics are... Talk to are... you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. More important than some alone time. <laughs> Sorry, I just... The flirty is so... It's, it's kind of cringe, right? <laughs> it's a little cringe. It's, it's very straightforward and very blunt, and maybe that's just the kind of girl Shepard is. I feel like one of you mentioned in the comments that the male Shepard romance is, like, so much worse. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna go to my quarters because I got a pop-up about another ship. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, I wonder if the, the empty spots on the shelves and the desk are for other ships. Oh. Okay, unread messages. Nothing. So let's look at upgrades. Can I do it here? No, I have to go to the laboratory. But I'll feed you guys. You're, you're not dead, which makes me feel good. Kelly's making sure I don't inadvertently murder you again, which is lovely. <laughs> okay. So we've done Garrus's loyalty mission. We've talked to him. We've started the process of flirting with him. 
I wonder, can Shepard like flirt slash romance more than one person? Probably not. I feel like that's against, you know, game rules. It's not the one I meant to go to. I want to go to this one. But it would be an interesting thought or an interesting idea. All right, four or five sniper rifle damage. Yes, please. And then nothing else yet. Damage protection at five out of five. Heck yeah. Do I get like a, an achievement or something for that? I feel like I should. No. Ship enhancement prototypes. Okay. I'm okay with the rest of those. So the next thing on my list, because I actually have a list, is to go back to the Shadow Broker and look at some, what is it called? Dossiers. So I'm going to make the long trek there and meet you once I have arrived. All right, well, I thought before we did the dossiers, we could go back here and look at some of the security cam footage again. Because I think one of you mentioned that I might get some updates. And one of you mentioned I needed to look close at something. Aria Talok, Omega. Yeah, next one. Emily Wong, Citadel. Uh, oh, that's a new one. Who's she talking to? Again, I wish the Private audio worked. Mazai, Citadel. Who is this guy? Oh, is this the guy who got it didn't but wait i thought the human ran him over with the ship and he shot the solarian is that the same people i wonder donnell odina citadel hmm don't know what i'm supposed to see here i know a lot of you guys mentioned certain things. It's my first playthrough. I'm going to miss all the finer details and you guys have probably played it so much more than me. <laughs> and it all makes sense instantaneously. Armando Bailey, Citadel. Again, these names sound familiar, but don't remember. David Anderson, Citadel. Anderson? What are you doing? They just one shot a Krogan, basically. Praetor Gavorn, Omega. A vague, is that the guy who was hiring? I forget the species, the one with all the teeth. Um, to, to I don't know, do things on Omega. Maybe, maybe, maybe not so much. Kalisa bin Sinan Al Jilani, Citadel. Oh my. Caper 20, Citadel. Is this the keeper who like murdered a Krogan? One of you did point that out that it was a Krogan. And I was like, holy crap. <laughs> oh, next, not play. Matriarch Atheta, Ilium. Is this the bartender? Again, names. I can barely remember them, like, in the middle of a quest. Erdnot Torsk, Tachanka. Oh my gosh. That's horrible. He just melted a person. Elias Kellum, Citadel. Oh, is that the guy who got hit by a car instead, maybe? Miranda Lawson and Jacob Taylor. Lazarus Research Station, ship now defunct. Oh. 
Where am I at? Again, the, I wish the audio had, we had the audio to go with it. It would give me so much more context. Garrus Vakarian, Omega. Oh, was this him and his squad? He was totally Batman, right? Except the Aria Batman Tlok, who kills Omega. people. <laughs> All right. Emily Wong, Citadel. Okay, that's it. I'm sure there were all sorts of Easter eggs and things that I totally missed, but like. It, it doesn't, it'll eventually maybe make sense to me. <laughs> okay. Let's see if Liara has anything to say. Probably not, but it's worth a try. Shepard, I'm glad you came. Shepard, I'm glad you came. You know, you can look at me when I'm talking to you. I'm just saying, your little drone here is kind of stalkery. It's cute, but like, anyway. All right, so I'm not gonna go and do Thane's mission just yet. I want to ideally explore a system fully and then come back again to the Shadow Broker ship and do Thane's dossier then. So let me see, let's try to get, let's do Kasumi since we've already done her personal quest. So skilled break in Break and enter specialist, sentimental, impulsive risk taker, investigate Lever's death in connection to Alliance scandal. Poetry logs. Anonymous poem logs, haiku by Kasumi, breathless glinting skin, muscles working in rhythm, cloaked desire watches. Looking at me now, his indifferent eyes smile, I am a puddle. Beautiful and good, punishing with his kindness. Jake, Jacob is perfect. Jacob is perfect. I'm sorry. Are you gonna romance Jacob? Cause that would be, <laughs> that would kind of be interesting. He's so straight laced and she's not. <laughs> so from Kasumi Goto to Mathito Pellery, Blue Suns Omega. I understand from my sources that you are looking to expand your collection of antiquities. These are the items I currently have in inventory. I was originally commissioned to obtain them, but when payments were not forthcoming, they became mine. The prices on all items are open to negotiation. If your case, in your case rather, I may prefer favors over credits. Please use the name, use this same secure channel to respond. Words are really hard right now. So the inventory is domed ceremonial headdress, from a Batarian headdress, Da Vinci Mona Lisa, complete works of esteemed poet Zisosh Thal Vasronic, first folio edition Korean, the Koh i Noor diamond. That sounds, I feel like I should know what that is, but I don't. <laughs> Some huge diamond, maybe. Anyway, Turian battle spike, approximately 3,000 years old, Origin unknown, believed to be one of two, but missing its pair. Ooh, that was really short. Okay, so let's see. We did Cerberus, Captain Bailey. Oh, let's do Captain Anderson. Is a rejected Spectre candidate, close working relationship with Commander Shepard. I mean, we used to. I feel like he's very distant these days, but anyway. Before destruction of the Normandy, Oh, <laughs> let me finish the sentence and it explains it better. Monitor communications for renewed contact with Shepard. Military correspondence. Intercept Center Captain Farah Gapoli Arcturus Station. David Anderson, I have been asked to step in on the matter of your continued vocal and insistent support of Commander Shepard, formerly of the SR-1 Normandy within the Alliance military and to third-party contracts. 
The matter of Commander Shepard and their involvement in the attack on the Citadel Station is of high value to military intelligence and the Galactic Council. To that end, we respectfully ask you to cease and desist your continued investigation that has been deemed closed and sealed for two solar years. Your continued agitation in this matter is deemed a high security risk with potential repercussions for galactic security. Please consider our position carefully. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact my office. Sincerely, Captain Farah Gapoli, assistant in, assistant in charge of operations Arcturus Station. Hmm. Personal correspondence, Cynthia Barris at Earth Atlanta. David, Henry and I went to Jason's graduation ceremony in San Francisco today. Such a beautiful occasion, all these, all those gowns and bright spirits, so much potential. I know Henry would frown at the thought, but I couldn't help recalling the pomp around your appointment to the Hastings. You were the second in command, weren't you? The military always did ceremony very well. God, that was a lifetime ago. Jason says to send his best. I'm so proud of him. Aerospace engineer. I don't pretend to understand what he does, but the gleam in his eye when he is trying to explain his latest designs to me say that he has found his place in the universe. He wanted you to be there at his ceremony, but I know duty calls. He sees you as a heroic figure off fighting grand battles in space. I hope you can make it for the holidays this year. Henry asked just the other day. I know you don't see eye to eye on much, but he respects you. He respects what you do, and you know Jason is over the moon when you can take the time to review his ship designs. Let me know about the holidays, and David, please be careful. So I'm guessing sister and then Jason is her son, so his nephew, and then Henry must be her husband. That's that's what I'm get, guessing. So recent transactions. Dionysus imports catalog ordered. Saren, a hero betrayed video download. Modus Valley brand, two bottles, white wine purchased. Damage the truth behind the Citadel crisis was a video downloaded. And then Ilium Elite brand, one bottle, gold label. Some serious alcohol you purchased, it sounds like. The Path of Lies, a history of the Alliance military, video downloaded. <laughs> Afraid of the Dark Reapers, collectors and other myths, video downloaded. And then more alcohol. And then clean sweep home maintenance. I mean, you've been drinking a lot and watching videos that will no doubt wind you up. But I feel like that's good for right now. That was much shorter than the Cerberus like timeline. That timeline was my brain just kind of went whoosh, way far away. But embedded correspondence report that made absolutely no sense. I'm aware. Success. Citadel journalists are now reporting live from the Terminus systems. Okay. Four thousand credits. Ore is up three percent. I've sold your stock before tomorrow's market crash. Oh. <laughs> okay. Arbitrator. Success and Hoor has been steered away from civil war. That's that's good. Mutually assured income. Oh dear. Failure. Several Karshan nations have acquired WMDs that tip the balance in their favor. Oh, I don't know if that's good or not. And then finally, chemical warfare. Success. Your agent warns binary helix about a citadel inspection a week before it happens. Oh yeah, that was the one that I wasn't too sure about. False Prophets. A rapidly growing cult called the Followers of the Exalted Light of the World is gaining a foothold in Omega. Send agents to infiltrate the controversial religion and siphon off donation money for yourself. Um, sure. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I shouldn't, I feel like I should definitely be more RPG the, um, my choices sometimes, but sometimes I just want to see what happens. And that means I have to make choices that probably aren't so realistic for my shepherd but okay that is done so the next place i want to go to is the shrike thistle and i may have actually already been there but it's going to take a second so let's get back to the i wish there was a more direct route to the shadow burger base it's fine but I'm wondering if it's one of those things like, you, I think you guys told me, well, you did tell me that it was a DLC. So I wonder if it's like you did the DLC and you read all the dossiers at once. So there wasn't as much of a need to go back over and over again like I'm doing, but then again, people replay a lot. So the Shrike Abyssal. All right, the Shrike Abyssal, found it. it it's all the pop-ups make it just so much more confusing. We have not been there at all. 
That's probably why it was next on my list of things to do. <laughs> Plus, there was nothing here to do. No quest reason to be here. Okay. I have detected an anomaly. Wow, that was... That was fast. <laughs> Zeta Man is a large, dense planet named for a volus god of punishment. Its crust is rich in uranium, eroded by winds to create large radioactive dust storms across its surface. The volus of Talus Fia have explored the planet thoroughly with space probes and telepresent robo mining machines and discovered they are not the first to exploit the planet. Plastics from a mining station approximately 50,000 thousand years old can be found near the planet's equator curiously the mines nearby were not tapped out of uranium ore they were instead abandoned at the height of their operation 50,000 years ago would it be Prothean Mary get them back to work get, get them back to work the boss will murder us if those weapons aren't ready get them back to work the boss will murder us if those weapons aren't ready get them oh dear Go away something on our sensors yeah Scans show a crude base established on the planet's surface. Communications match known blood peck. I was just thinking it sounds like they have slaves down there, which obviously we need to go free. But anyway, communications match known blood peck mercenary protocols. Numerous life signs matching Vorcha genealogy detected. The base's material resources match our data on weapons and manufacturing components. Okay, I want to look at the quest, but let's finish exploring this system first. Since we're nearly at a nearly at time today anyway, let's try and be logical about this. A unique discovery, Aphris is a heavenly heavenly twin, a planet in a star system that has not one, but two worlds of sufficient mass to retain a nitrogen oxygen atmosphere. Within the habitable life zones of its parent star, Fossil evidence shows abundant vertebrates and evidence of sapient terrestrial aviation species in its Bronze Age. However, the only trace of contemporary life on the planet is that of a single-celled organisms in its seas. All else has suffered from an extinction event, a series of massive impacts that vaporized vast quantities of water and lofted dust into the atmosphere. Early theories that this event was a collision with a fragmenting asteroid have now been discounted. The impact craters were aimed directly at habitation centers. Oh, it was like nuked. But a heavenly twin, a planet in a star system that has not one but two worlds of sufficient mass. But then where's the other world? Probe away. Or am I thinking too literally? Probably thinking too literally. It's fine. The sister tragedy to the extinction event on Aphris, Tosal Nim, was the rarest of jewels, a second garden planet within the same life zone as Aphris. Not as old as its sister planet, its fossil evidence indicates it was home to abundant invertebrates sea life. However, similar craters to those on Aphris created a dust shroud that killed 99% of biota on the planet. The even spacing of the craters indicates a coordinated simultaneous attack from points around the globe rather than an asteroid collision or a super volcanic scenario. I wonder if they were like... Launching probe. Hmm. Like two different, like the reason there's, they're both, like they destroyed each other. That's the, those are the words I'm trying to very so poorly use. Oh, I was wondering, I'm like, there's gotta be at least one more. A Jovian gas giant, Vem Oska, weeping witness in Empyrean Volus, is a low density hydrogen helium planet with 35 moons. Later this year, 33 of the moons will be visible from the planet's surface in a conjunction, an event that will be recorded by space probes from all over the galaxy. Sounds interesting. Probe away. Can we go? I'd like to see that. <laughs> All right, well, let's back out and look at the quest that I just got. What I need to look at Garrus' mission, too. In the end, Garrus chose to kill Sedonis and through his death was finally able to come to terms with the death of his men. I mean, I feel like it doesn't really work out like that, but it's fine. Oh, and I still forgot I've Citadel found 
forged ID. I need to deal with that. And then I need this stuff for Ilium as well. Turn to Ilium and see what happens as a result of informing Mr. Thrax about the stolen goods. Oh, I need to I need to do all those things. But anyway, N7 Blood Pack Base. Intel points towards a blood pack base on the planet Theta Ban. The base could be a weapons manufacturing facility. But more importantly, there's people down there who need some saving. Okay, well, I'm going to pause here for today, and in tomorrow's video, we're going to work on that quest. Hopefully rescue some slaves and free them and kill bad people and continue exploring and, as usual, go from there. But as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Mass Effect 2 video.